there's no time. Uh, population genetics equations for humans or primates, um, the population size, the mutation rate, all the factors that are known, say that it takes six million years for one mutation in a DNA binding site to arise. That's published in the literature. One mutation in a DNA binding site in six million years. That's how long you have to go from a chimp-like ancestor to us. Just isn't enough time. It takes, we're different from chimps in hundreds of different ways and, and probably um, thousands of different genes. And the differences between us and chimps are um, the kinds of things that require coordinated mutations, things that work together. So it's not enough just to get, say, 20,000 independent mutations that occur over six million years and, hey, presto, you've got a human being. No, you've got to have uh, mutations that work together. You have to have the right legs, feet, and pelvis to be able to walk upright, along with a correct spine and a neck that's long enough so you can actually get your head upright and see where you're going. Um, those are coordinated changes, and um, if they happen individually, the benefit is not there. So you have to have all of them together. We've done work with bacteria that suggest that um, you can't even get a simple protein to change its function to a new function in way past the age of the universe. If it requires six or more mutations that are coordinated, you can't do it. So where does that leave a Darwinian story for chimps and humans? If you can't get bacteria to do it in the age of the universe or beyond, to just change one protein to a new function, then how are you going to achieve all the coordinated changes that are required to go from a chimp to a human? We just haven't got a chance.